I'm going to go over the steps on how to remove a toilet. And the first step is we want to shut off the water from the shut-off valve underneath the toilet itself. So to shut off the valve, it's just a matter of turning clockwise the handle on the valve. And this is a nice tool. If you have a valve that's very hard to turn the handle, this is Rigid's Faucet and Sink Installer. And it has different size fittings. And one of them is actually a fitting that will go around the handle and allow you to very easily turn off a valve. And what's nice about this is it actually allows you to grab this with a wrench. If it were very difficult to turn, you can connect a wrench here and it will give you more torque. Once the valve is off, we're just going to flush the toilet and I'm going to hold the handle down so as much water as possible gets out of the tank. Then we're going to plunge out all the excess water in the bowl because when you pick this up, the trap inside the bowl itself will spill the water if it's uneven. So I want to get as much water as I can out of the bowl. Now we're going to remove the supply line from that shut-off valve up to the fill valve underneath the tank. And so I'm just using a pair of channel locks and I'm going to grab the top of that supply line and turn it counterclockwise. And I also put a small pan underneath this because there's going to be a little bit of water in the supply line here. So we'll just loosen this up and disconnect the supply line from the fill valve. Now we're going to remove the nuts that are holding the toilet down to the toilet flange. And so just by removing that decorative cap, we're going to put some type of adjustable wrench on this nut. And I just picked these up. These are a Husky adjustable socket. And this will actually adjust to 22 different sizes, metric and standard. I really like them because you just lay it on the nut and give it a twist and it locks in like that. So just a, just a very nice tool for any size nut. And so you can see what's happening is the whole bolt is actually turning. So whoever put this toilet on, they did not lock down this bolt with an extra stainless steel washer and nut so that this doesn't move because you can see how rusted this is. So now this is going to be a little bit of a troubleshooting tip. We're going to first grab this with a pair of locking pliers and see if we can get that to loosen up. And then if that doesn't work, we're going to have to cut this off with a hacksaw. So to help free up this nut, I'm just going to spray it with a little penetrating oil first and let it set for a few minutes, and hopefully that will help loosen this up. So I'm going to take these locking pliers and lock them to the top of this bolt, and then we'll see if that allows us to turn this. And it's, and it's not. So what I'm going to have to do is just take a hacksaw blade and I'll hack right underneath that nut and take the whole bolt off. So I'm going to leave the locking pliers on that bolt so we can wedge this tight and I'm just going to take a hacksaw blade and underneath that nut I'm just going to work all the way through. And if you don't want to use the handle on the blade you can just use the blade itself and you can hold this with a pair of leather gloves. And so we're just going to cut through the bolt and we'll see what the other side looks like. So the bolt on the other side of the toilet is also spinning, so I'll show you just an easy way to get into a hard to reach area. So I just take a hacksaw blade with a pair of leather gloves, and I just get on the bottom of the nut, and we're just going to work on top of this washer and on the bottom of that nut, and I'm just going to work it until we cut all the way through that bolt. So while you're doing this, it may seem like you're never going to get through it, but if you're just persistent, you can see you can cut right through this, and now we'll be able to pull up the toilet. So once you've removed your nuts, or if you've had to cut through your bolts, now it's just a matter of lifting it up and setting it off. I would always have some newspaper or some cardboard to set it on, and you always want to keep the toilet level, because in that trap, if you tilt the toilet, it's going to release that water in the trap. So then it's just a matter of lifting it straight up and removing it. And that's all there is to removing a toilet.